Mutant Nation, what's going on? This is Dusty Hanshaw here with Ron Partlow. We're here at Earl's Port Coquitlam doing another Dining with Dusty. This time, next level, because it's the day after the show. <laughs> Second meal on the menu. We're going here. Come in, check it out. <laughs> Well, guys, as we said, we're here at Earl's, and uh, it's time for a little post-show celebration. We've got it all going on here. Brunch menu, regular menu, and uh, this is the spot we stop in all the time. Ron has brought me here how many times? Well, I've eaten at Earl's about a couple thousand times in my life, and uh, it's been a staple restaurant in my life since I started bodybuilding, so uh, I eat here all the time, and I bring everybody that comes to Canada to Earl's, so here we are. And I live right there, Dusty. Yeah, right behind us is right where the, street. the fam is waiting right now. We're gonna do brunch first and then eat a meal? Is that what we're doing? Yes, okay. yes. I'll get the waffle for, to start for sure. And I'll get, uh, can I get two eggs with that? Two scrambled? Eggs. I go three eggs. Three eggs? Oh, it's three off eggs. season. Three eggs scrambled with the waffle. That's my starter for today, sure. Dusty. We'll treat that like appetizer. Yeah, I'm keeping it tight because it's right after show. So I'm gonna go eggs Benedict. Because that hollandaise I've heard is very low fat, low carb, no yes, problem. It's all, there. It's like, there's no calories at all. Exactly. Uh, and the crispy potatoes, beautiful. Yeah, I'm gonna stick with that. We're going simple on my on my brunch order, so that will work. One waffle, so three eggs scrambled, and then one egg Benny. Yes, sure. Benny. Yeah. I like that. You're cutting it down. So how are you feeling morning after a show? I'm. A, I was always uh, super self conscious of how my tan looked out of the bodybuilding world. Right. So like, you know, the day after the show when you go to Safeway. Right. And they look at your hands like, you know, because I wear Well, especially when it gets the blotchy yeah, look like this. And you put your hands out to like, you know, and they think you have a skin disease or. I'm like, I wash these yeah. like many it's times that. I sure. promise, You're I promise. Sure what's going on. <laughs> so uh, how did you feel at this show? Just so everyone knows. I mean, we're shooting this the morning after the Vancouver Pro. So, you know, Dusty just competed. What did you weigh? Uh, I was lighter this time. I was down to 263, okay. which is the lightest I've been in a, in a long time. Last year was 270, um, but I actually like this look better. I mean, for me, it was just, I was harder and I, I liked throwing that out there because a lot of people ask me how much weight I gained. So when, right. when you answer with, oh yeah, yeah, no, I was bigger. I was seven pounds lighter, but bigger. That kind of throws people's brains. And I think this show was great because everyone was sliced. You know, um, or at least in really good condition. Yep. You know, I think the only thing I threatened them with was my um, flawless shape. I yeah, felt like they just couldn't, much. they couldn't handle it. They didn't know what to do with me. So they were like, let's leave him at the end here. Cause it's just, it's too sharp. It's, it's just too much taper. It's uh, too good. <laughs> you're, no. you're, you, you've got to give yourself credit. You're a beast, Dusty. So we're looking at, uh, oh, fired. I'm the lemon. Killing me, killing me. You know, I thought you loved us. Can we get straws too? Thank you, sorry I didn't mention that. See, it's the camera, she got nervous, you know. Right, oh, oh. we got shit breaking. It happens, you hear that? it happens. So someone's been waiting too long for their food, they're hungry. I hear broken glass. It's all good. Ooh. Have you got your waffles? Oh, A little light in your life right there. Right, I, I'm gonna start out with the margarita pizza. Okay. We're having an appetizer, appetizer. Well, I'm about to find out about this here. Can Earl's recreate a classic and make it work? We're about to find out. I'm glad you ordered that. I actually am now too. Oh, look at that. Oh, you guys, that yolk breaking. Wow, a very traditional thing that they've completely changed and they're allowed to, apparently. It's all about the cook though, look at this, look at this, look at this. Look at this. Mm -hmm. You have to do an egg just perfect to get it like that. Yeah, that's why this is not something I would even remotely attempt at home. Look at, oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> moment of silence for that emotional moment. All right, moving forward. One of the things that you do that blows my mind, because I wouldn't be able to do it at all, is you use a straight 
a, you're not using an easy bar, you're using a straight 45 pound bar. So right away, all my joints are, are like, oh, ow, ow. And you do right. 225 skull crushers. Right. Anytime I put those up, it gets a huge response, which is always funny to me, because it's like I put it up a hundred times. And um, it's comical, because that's always the answer. They're like, oh, it's the worst movement for your body, or, you know, that's gonna ruin your, your career. And I'm like, well, if it hurt, I wouldn't do it. What do we got here? We got the margarita pizza and you added some chicken to it. Yeah. Delicious. Now here's where things got a little wild. We both ordered the rice because I'm not gonna order mashed potatoes, which means we eat both. I eat both. And then the steaks. Oh, look at, the, look at that. Don't put it on the grill. Walk it by. Walk it by. I like when they hit a steak with basic flavors. Salt, pepper, good to go. Salt and pepper. Because if you have a good quality steak, that's all it needs. Don't need a bunch of sauces. Steak's money. You? I'm doing good. I'm going. Yeah, I hit the pizza. I'm going. So, I wasn't gonna go to 300 pounds again, now that I'm like not competing anymore. <laughs> so pretty much so, what you're saying is if I were to stay here one more day, you'd be back wow. over three. Like a, Got a little, little kick to it. Like a Cajun? Yeah, I dig it. Yeah, sign of a good pizza. When the oil is dripping off with every bite, I'm not gonna let that go to waste either. I'm picking it back up. Say goodbye to the 200s. <laughs> We're going with a sticky toffee chocolate pudding. Do you love that? You want a throwback? Do you want a throwback? I worked at Earl's in 1995. 23 and, years ago. Yes. And how old are you? I'm 22. Bam! <laughs> and there it is. I saw that coming. I was like, I see where this is going. Beat me. The bar I served and bartended, yeah. Oh, wow. A year and a half there. We're out in the small town part of Vancouver, Dusty. Which is how I like to roll, because actually I wanted to go to a high, like I like going to steakhouse after shows. It always makes me laugh, because in the States, it's everyone goes to Cheesecake Factory or IHOP, or, and I'm like, you know, I'm looking for Morton's or like a high-end steak place. So I actually asked Andrew last night, I'm like, hey, where's a, where's a like, good steak place? And he's like, downtown. I'm like, yeah, I'm not ready for that kind of commitment yeah. after the show. You have anything close? He was like, Earl's. Is it too early in our relationship and your life to say I love you? <laughs> 22, I have shoes that old. All right. <laughs> there we go, there, this is where it's all coming through right here. Two, thank you so much. moment we've ever shared, Dusty. Here we go, Ron's gonna have the first inaugural bite. Oh, 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 there we go. You notice, guys, this is when you're serious about your weight gain blocking which none of you are doing, but Ron. Perfect bite, leaning in, go in, go in. Oh boy. I didn't have the napkin ready. Oh, this is getting, ooh, you had to go fast with that. Oh, and you didn't even get any of the caramel. So now that it's mine, I can like touch shit. Yeah, his fingers are in it. Everything's fine, no judgment. Judgment free zone, this is. That's tricky. The planet fitness of desserts. Judgment free zone. Yeah. Also made for fat people. Awesome. Yes. <laughs> and I'm well on my way after last night and today. So you really need to get all three things on the fork at once. I Absolutely. Know. You're gonna lose it off the back end. Ooh, didn't make mm, mm. Didn't Too late. Alright guys, I'm gonna knock this down. I'm not gonna make you painstakingly watch and drool on every bite of this dessert. But when we're done. Ron and I are gonna do the most important part. You all know what that is? It's time to rate this place. Yeah. We'll see you in a minute. All right, guys, so here's the uh, all important piece of the puzzle, the rating system, as always. The guest gets to join in on, uh, on putting his vote in first, so one to five, five stars being the grand champion of the world has never happened before, probably never will and one being we'll never be back, where we land in today. Um, well, the waffle was the best waffle I've ever had. Ever. Ever. So it was the best waffle I've ever had. So that was, a lot. That was good news. Um, 
So that gives it a little extra push. I'm gonna go four and a half. Which is essentially the top of your scale. Yeah, I'm gonna say four, four and a half. That's, that's where we wanna go. So mine, the first step was the Eggs Benedict. Um, that was actually, and it was, and this is, you eat with your eyes first, you know? Eggs Benedict, everyone kind of knows what's coming to the table. It did not come to the table, and I literally, I told Ron, I was immediately slightly let down. Then I took a bite, and it was phenomenal. <laughs> and then I had a really a real problem in my mind now, because I'm still disappointed it doesn't look the way it's supposed to. So, we had a break even there, because it saved itself. Um, steak and everything was fantastic. Um, we ordered a side of rice, which we always do this, Ron and I you order the rice. It kind of gets rid of the potatoes, because I yeah. would never order a mashed potato. I actually ate the mashed potatoes, they were awesome, which uh, should hurt them, since now I know I like mashed potatoes, and I haven't had them so long. Um, I'm giving Earl's a solid four across the top, which as you watch the rating system, that's actually very high end. That's not a one star review. We don't do those, no, unless no. you're painful. But a five, I really doubt it'll never happen. So four, solid, and uh, I'll be back the very next time we're here. Oh, and by the way, that dessert, the dessert gets a seven. The dessert gets, it gets a seven. Like, it, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, if we'd have came here and eaten dessert, we'd have walked away Earl's a grand champion for life. So there you when, go. when you guys are anywhere near an Earl's, hit it up, you will not be disappointed. And even if you're not hungry, come in, get that dessert. Trust me, go. it'll be worth it. Till next time, Dining with Dusty, Dusty Hanshaw. Big Round Parlo, thanks for having me on again. Absolutely. I think Ron's going to become a long-standing guest. Uh, I'll be your Regis Philbin. Whenever someone cancels, you just call down the hall. I believe you just called me Kelly. There you go. We're out of here.